Hi guys, I'm Aftab Sumro. Welcome to our channel Falak Sumro. As you know, we have been making the videos on the web designing in which you are learning the HTML course. Up till we have covered till the HTML links. Today we will discuss on the HTML images. So let's get started. HTML images. Images can improve the design and the appearance of a web page. It means when we will make our web page, these images would give an attraction and improvement to our designing section. Example, whenever we will insert or embed any image, we will use the IMG tag, image tag. This is non-paired tag which will not be uh, closed. We will try it yourself editor. Now you can see here the image has been called now first of all i'm showing you how it has been brought now i'm writing the h1 this is an image now we will run it this heading one has been printed after that we will call the image by using the img tag now here we will use the attribute of src which means the source attribute we will locate the image file which is pick underscore truly dot jpg jpg is the format of the image now alt means alternate text this is another attribute Truly. Now, third attribute we would use the width command. Width should be the 600 pixels and height would be the 350 pixels. Now we will close this tag and we will try to run this program. As you know, this is our image which has been shown by this image tag. Suppose uh, we are increasing the width of this picture. Now you can see the difference between these two images. The width of the uh, picture has been increased. Now let's move ahead. Now what is the function of alternate text? Suppose there is problem of internet connection slow browsing or the path problem the photo is not located as a result this alternate text would be printed by this command suppose this picture i am hiding it by giving it uh, the wrong name now i will run it now you can see the picture has not been shown but the alternate text has been printed instead of this image the purpose of alt text would be shown in instead of the picture now we would see the html image syntax now what is the syntax how to uh, embed the image tag the html img tag would be used to embed the image to show in the web pages images are not technically inserted into web pages it means we will not insert any image by automatically or technically images would be linked to web pages the img tag will create a holding space for the referenced image which we want to show in our website the img tag is an empty tag it does not uh, have any closing tag but it contains the attributes attributes which i uh, used some moments ago the src alter alt alt width height these are all the uh, attributes of img tags the main two uh, attributes which are very necessary are required are src and alt tags alt attributes 
src will specify the path to our image and alt specifies an alternate text for the image instead of uh, the image this is the syntax the src attribute which i told you the example the alt here is an alt flower in china will be printed instead of this image if the image will not show in uh, in the case of uh, slow browsing or the wrong path this alternate text will be printed if a browser cannot find an image it will display the value of the alt attribute image size width and height we can use the style attribute to specify the width and height of an image before this we used just the width and height but we can also style in this way to resize our image now let's see how to resize our image suppose here i am not giving any style attribute i am just giving the width and height this is the simplest way to show the width and height now you can see i have increased the width size up to 900 the result you can see the width has been increased if i decrease to the 100 you can see the width is now very narrow so by this way we can give the width and height and if I give the width and height by styling so this is the method by giving the style we will not use the equal sign we have to use the colon by using the width and height now the width has been increased so by this way we will use the style in the image tag width and height are style the width height and style attributes are all valid in html which can be used in any way however we suggest using the style attribute the style attribute would be better used in the using in our image tag it prevents style sheets from changing the size of images images in another folder suppose we have our image in another folder not directly in the uh, folder or place where our html file already exists so suppose our image is located in the images folder for that purpose we have to give the path in the source attribute by giving the forward slash and the name of the folder and after that forward slash and finally the file name and uh, its extension by this way we will be able to locate that image file to show in our web pages images on another server or website suppose we want to show the images from the another website or server for that purpose we have to give the complete server address the website address after that the folder in which images are located and the name of that image to show on our website this is the path we will give to locate the image from another website or server external images might be under copyright if we use another website's images that can be the copyright if you do not get permission to use it 
you may be in violation of copyright laws we should uh, take the permission clearly to use the photos of their website in addition you cannot control external images we will not be able to control external images because the owner of that websites can be can remove or change the image name size or any other things they can perform on their websites as as a result if we will use their images we will not update them how to use the animated images html allows animated in the gifs example here you can see img source programming dot gif or gif alternate computer main width and height let me to show you the result of the animated gif you can see here the animated gif is performing images as a link we can use images as a hyperlink suppose we are giving here anchor tag which i taught you some times ago anchor tag in the links section hyperreference default dot asp this would be our target file and in between the anchor tag star tag and end tag we have to call the image by uh, image or a photo by this image tag now i am showing you the result this is the image which has been called in the anchor tag now when i will click on this link this uh, default.asp file will be opened now let's check it now this file has been opened after clicking the image file image float use the css float property to let the image float to the right or to the left of the text now let's see how to float the images now this smiley.gif file has been loaded in the uh, image tag now in the style section this float right has been used to locate this file in the right side now you can see here this image has been placed in the right side by giving it the style as float right if i type here left now check out the result by clicking the run button now you can see here the image has moved to the left side now i want to move this image to the right side this is a second photo now i give here the right instead of left now you can see here the changes common image formats now we will see what are the common formats of images here are the most common images file types which are supported in all browsers chrome browser edge browser firefox safari opera apng animated portable network graphics gif graphics interchange format ico microsoft icon jpeg joint photographic experts group image png portable network graphic svg scalable vector graphics all these files we can use in our websites now the chapter summary in this chapter we learned img tag or element we uh, used the src attribute alt attribute width height attributes and we also used these width and height at properties or attributes by using the style of css finally we used the css float property to let the image float to the left or right so this was our images section of html
which I tried to teach you. So you are needed to much practice on this lesson. As a result, you will be succeeded to learn this HTML. So we will meet in next lesson. See you. Bye bye.